Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing examples using Spring Boot and Azure. In a previous tutorial, we deployed a Spring Boot application to Azure App Service using the JAR file. In this tutorial, we will deploy the Spring Boot MySQL application to Azure App Service. For this, I'll be taking reference of my website javainews.com. So go to Spring Boot Azure. The tutorial that we'll be implementing today is deploying a Spring Boot MySQL application to Azure App Service. In previous tutorial, we deployed Spring Boot application JAR file to Azure App Service. Also, in another previous tutorial, we had implemented Spring Boot MySQL application to perform CRUD operations. In this tutorial, we'll be deploying the Spring Boot MySQL application that we had implemented previously as Azure App Service. So for this, we'll be making use of the following workflow. So we'll be creating the Spring Boot MySQL application. For this Spring Boot MySQL application, we'll create a JAR file. Then using the Azure Web App plugin, we'll be deploying the Spring Boot MySQL application as an Azure Web App service. Once deployed, we'll be connecting the Spring Boot MySQL application to Azure database for MySQL in order to create databases. This deployed Web App service can then be consumed by the user. Let us begin with the implementation part. First, we'll be creating the MySQL for Azure instance. For this, go to the Azure portal. The Azure portal here, search for MySQL. Go to Azure database for MySQL servers. Click on create. Here, we'll be creating a flexible server for MySQL deployment. Click on create. Select a resource group. Enter the server name. I'll give the server name as Java News MySQL. Next, below for this MySQL server, we'll need to specify the username and password. For me, the username will be Java News and the password will be hello at the rate123. So click on review and create, create, select here create server without firewall rules. So this will create the MySQL server for us. So here the Azure MySQL instance has been created for us. So here click on go to resource. So here we can see an Azure database MySQL instance named Java News hyphen MySQL has been created for us. The URL of this MySQL server is Java News hyphen MySQL dot MySQL dot database dot Azure dot com. Next we'll be making a call to this Java News MySQL server from the Spring Boot application that we'll be deploying as an Azure App Service. For this, we'll need to click on this connect button. So what this connect button does is that it allows public access from other Azure services within Azure to this service. So we'll be deploying the Spring Boot application as an Azure App Service. In order to access this server, we'll need to click yes. So now our Spring Boot application, which will be deployed as an Azure App Service, can connect with this MySQL server. Next, let us begin with the Spring Boot MySQL application that we want to deploy as an Azure Web App Service. In a previous tutorial, we had implemented Spring Boot MySQL application for performing CRUD operations using the MySQL database. So go to this tutorial here. So in this tutorial, we had exposed a REST endpoint using which the user he could perform CRUD operation on the MySQL database. You can go through the YouTube video here. So if you go below, I have given the source code for this example. Here click on download and import this as a Maven project in Eclipse. So here in Eclipse, I have imported the downloaded Maven project, Spring Boot MySQL CRUD. Right click on the pom.xml run as Maven install. So this will build the project. So what all dependencies that we have specified in the pom.xml such as the Spring Boot Starter Data JPA, Spring Boot Starter Web Dependencies, these will get downloaded. So here the build is successful. So let us start the MySQL database. So for this, I'll be making use of the MySQL command line client. Click on this. Password for this is root. Next, let us start the Spring Boot project. So for this, go to source main Java. And here, right click on the Boot MySQL CRUD application. Run as Java application. This will start the Spring Boot application. So here, the Spring Boot application, it has started on port 8080. If we now make a get call to localhost 8080 slash employees. So this is the list of employees that we get from the MySQL database, which we had inserted previously. Also, suppose if you want to insert a new employee record in the MySQL database, you can do so by making a post call to localhost 8080 slash employee. So the response that we have got is this record has been inserted. We now do a get call. Here we can see the record it has been successfully inserted. Next we'll be modifying the Spring Boot application to add some more configuration so that we can deploy it as an Azure App Service and also connect it to the Azure MySQL instance that we have created previously. So first go to application.properties. Here we have defined the Spring Data Source URL. So this is the detail of the MySQL database that this application is connecting to. Then we have the username and password for this MySQL database that this application is connecting to. So we will now want to connect to the MySQL instance that is deployed in the Azure portal. So for this, go to the Azure MySQL instance. And here, this is the name of the server. So copy this. So our application, instead of localhost, will now be trying to access this MySQL server. The name of the database that we will be creating, it will, we'll keep it as Java News DB only. Create database if not exists, keep it as true. For the Azure MySQL instance, this use SSL, it is true, so we will not be making use of this property. Next, the username for the Azure MySQL instance, we had specified it as Java News. The password we had configured as hello123. 
So using the Spring Data Source configuration, a Spring Boot application will be able to connect to the Azure MySQL instance. Next in the POM file of the Spring Boot application, we'll be adding the Azure Web App Maven plugin. Go to the POM.xml and here in the plugin section, we'll be adding this Azure Web App Maven plugin. Next, right click on the POM.xml, run as Maven install. So this will create a jar file in the target folder for us. Using this jar file, we'll be deploying the Spring Boot application as Azure App Service. Next, let us deploy the Spring Boot jar file as Azure Web App Service. So go to the command prompt, go to the location of the Spring Boot application. And here we'll be using the command fbn space Azure Web App colon config. This will create the Azure Web App deployment configuration for our application. Create new configuration, select yes. We want to deploy it in Linux, Java 17. Select this plan. Confirm this. So this configuration has been added to our pom.xml. If you now go to our pom.xml, here we can see the re this is the resource group to which our Spring Boot application will get deployed. We can modify this. This will be the application name. This will be the Azure Web App Service name for this deployed Spring Boot application. Next, we want the Spring Boot application to run on port 80. So for this, we'll be adding an additional configuration here. In app settings, we'll be specifying Java options and here we'll be specifying the server.port as 80. So copy this app setting. Add it here. Next, let us build the jar file once more. So right click on the spawn.xml, run as Pevin install. So this jar file, it is going to get deployed. Let us have the latest one. So again, go to the command prompt. Here first, we log into the Azure portal. So for this, use Azure login. Select the Azure account. So here we have successfully logged in. Next, let us deploy the application to Azure. So for this, the command will be mvn space azure hyphen web app colon deploy. So this will start the deployment of our application to Azure Web App Service. So here it is showing that our Spring Boot application has been successfully deployed to Azure. So go to the Azure portal. You yes, type Azure app and go to Azure App Services. So we can see that the Boot MySQL application, it has been successfully deployed as an Azure App Service. Let us check if the deployment is successful. So type log here, go to logs tool. This will show the logs of the application that we have deployed. So here it is showing that the Spring Boot application, it has started successfully. So let us test this, go back to overview. Using this URL, we can access our application. So copy this. So previously we were accessing the application using localhost 8080. Now paste this here and this will be HTTPS. Try accessing this. So here it is giving an empty list. So currently there are no employee records inserted in the Azure MySQL instance. So an empty list is being returned. Let us insert an employee record in this Azure MySQL instance. So copy this and we'll be making a post call to insert this employee detail. So now if we try to do a get again, here we are getting back the record here. So this record, it has been successfully inserted in the Azure MySQL instance using the Spring Boot application. So a Spring Boot MySQL application that we have deployed as an Azure app service, it is working properly. If you have understood this tutorial, you can download the source code from here. Thank you.